What is going on, YouTubers? Uh, Matt with um, Beardius Gaming coming at you again alive. Uh, this time we're going to uh, be doing a little LP of Barony. Uh, recently released, uh, well, kind of recently released. Released back in June. I uh, don't know what that makes this. Um, the last video we did was a Virgo, uh, which means it was thoughtful, contemplative. Um, I don't know if this is an Aries. Gemini, uh, maybe somebody can uh, throw that down. Not too, um, not too familiar with the old astrological signs, as it were. Don't know what that makes it in Chinese astrological signs. Maybe a monkey. Uh, I guess it depends on what year, right? 2015. Is it the year of the monkey? I don't know. Um, but um, kind of uh, got this going. Uh, actually, kind of funny story. Um, got this, got this going because my my friend was uh, getting on to Steam and he actually hadn't been on Steam in so long that Steam kind of thought it was a spam bot. So it made him buy a, buy a over five dollars worth of games. Um, so and he bought this and uh, got himself reactivated and among the non-spam bots. I think he might actually, his, his username might actually be Spambot, not sure. So anyway, um, back to the uh, story at hand is he, um, uh, Barony is uh, being heralded as a 3D first person roguelike uh, with dungeon crawler elements. Definitely as we get in, you'll see that. Um, it's developed and published by a Turning Wheel LLC. And uh, you can purchase it on the Steam Network for uh, $6.99 or for those who view um, looking for a maybe a Christmas gift, it is that time of year, a $24.99 four-pack. You can gift the other three or maybe four if you don't really uh, want to gift it to yourself um, to some friends, save a couple bucks. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the uh, mechanics of the game itself. Hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit further into the game than we did with uh, Aftermath which ended with me um, uh, kind of reenacting Custer's, no, not Custer, but um, uh, Pickett's Charge. So uh, getting into the uh, creation, um, you start off, either you can, you can start crafting your own um, characters, as you can see, uh, male, female, really there's no difference, it's just uh, cosmetics. Um, okay, I thought I got stuck there for a minute. So um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to with go, with, go with a male this time. And here is the class selection. Now, uh, they each have, they each start off with their own um, kind of unique inventory, unique skill set, and I don't really think I'm going to go through every single one here, but you can see down at the bottom here that they, that the game developers have put in a um, a very uh, brief synopsis of each uh, character, and each character kind of corresponds with a difficulty a rating. So, um, unlike uh, with Aftermath, this is not a blind playthrough. Um, it's not exactly um, seasoned either. I have about a little over an hour uh, in game, and uh, let me tell you, it is harsh. Um, I don't even know. Um, and during that time, I probably died about five times. So, uh, I'm not going to be safe spamming. Um, or anything like that. I'm not going to be safe scumming, so hopefully um, I'll be able to get at least a few episodes in without completely, uh, com you know, I don't know what you want to say, um, <laughs> embarrassing myself, if you will. So, um, but yeah, you have your barbarian, um, kind of classic, um, your warrior, your healer, your white mage, um, your rogue. Wanderer, uh, this guy, he's he's kind of he's kind of crappy in combat, but he comes fully loaded. He comes with a can opener, so that's essential. Um, you got your your D and D cleric, and your merchant. Don't really know the benefit of that. Maybe he has some help with the identifying department. It says maybe that's his, his spectacles right there. Uh, I'm gonna go with the barbarian. Um, go with the normal. I am uh, definitely not up for the Joker and his extreme rating, so I'm gonna go with the barbarian. Just gotta gotta represent the Vikings, and here you can choose some choose some slight cosmetic differences. Um, that's all it really is. There's no benefit or detraction of going High Watch versus Firebrand, for instance. Um, really, it's just just some just some cosmetic differences. So we'll go with a basic Land Guard, and as for a name, go with Beardly because he's obviously got a bit of a beard going on there. And continue gonna go here's where you can um, host or join multiplayer but we're not gonna get into that we're just gonna go with a go with a solo go with a solo run 
and here it is. Um, I don't know what anybody else really thinks, but I think it's kind of got a Minecraft kind of look to it. Definitely pixelated. Um, don't know if I can really... I don't know if I really have any frame of reference to speak of on that because I never played Minecraft, only only seen it. So we're going to get in. This first level, not really a tutorial um, per se, just kind of running around. Some guy just yelled at me, mumbled something. I didn't pay any attention. I ignored him as any true barbarian would. So we're going to get into the first level here, and this is where the level itself gets, the dungeon itself gets going in earnest Whoa. now. I'm going to go into my inventory screen, kind of rumble above on that. If I can tab, here we go. So have a torch, uh, it's serviceable. The weapons and equipment do degrade in this. So I have to be ever present of that. Ever mindful, maybe? I don't know, mindful. Here are your stats. Um, obviously, Barbarian's got a bit more strength than your average, the average chum, um, but he's not as dexterous. He's not as, um, he doesn't really go for the finesse. Um, constitution, um, pretty average. Um, not too bright. Um, he's probably illiterate. Um, he probably hasn't read a book in a while, if ever. Uh, this is perception. This helps out with identifying the random stuff that you're going to find in the dungeon. And I think this is a charisma. Um, that kind of plays into recruiting various NPCs that come along throughout the game. Uh, right now, uh, unfortunately, we are broke. We have zero gold ducats to us, but we have a four armor class rating. Um, obviously that warrior I think was directly beneath him. He starts out with a bit more. He has he has more metal armor, metal helmets, that kind of thing. But this guy comes armed to the teeth. He's got his serviceable iron axe, which is uncursed, which that will play into the game later. We have an iron mace and a wooden shield, leather helm. Um, I think that might be about it. And just the shirt on our back. Looks like he might be wearing some shorts, little booties. Uh, we have a we have a thing of mutton here, maybe a side of beef. I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe a turkey leg, and a, a bottle of booze. We have some meat on us, just in case you know it gets to that point. So we're gonna get into the dungeon. Utilize the typical WASD interface or WAS interface, if you will. I'll be honest. I'm more of a more of a a skeleton clacking around out here. We're gonna try and hear somebody. Somebody's getting into it. Now the the enemies do fight each other. Um, from my experience. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a torch. Man, this is just a greasy horror show without a torch. Okay, so that was a rat. Um, the first levels, that's those abound. Rats abound. Rats and skeletons mostly. Hopefully, we won't get, we won't run into any randomly generated uh, greasy horror shows while we're out here. Um, you can typically hear the uh, enemies coming, and that's that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty decent thing. Um, all the dungeon floors are randomly generated, so. Um, there is no real good walkthrough out there if you wanted to kind of get that going. What's this? I'm gonna pick up an excellent magic staff. Um, periodically you do run into towns. I have yet to run into a town. Um, maybe we will, maybe we won't. What's this? Rough gem. I think we might be able to sling that for some gold later on. That's, I think, a stone. A moldy apple. Okay, you do not want to eat disgusting moldy food, and let me tell you, there is a ton of it in the dungeon. There we go. Already, we're getting... We're already loading up on some gold bullion, as it were. Here, rats. Moldy cheese, that's not gonna do us any good. What's this? Torch. Oh, I got a slightly aged cream pie. I think that might be all right to eat. I'm not sure. Um, 
just so you know, food does not do anything for the health bar. That is not for getting the old HP back. Luckily, your HP does regenerate given enough time, um, but if you do get caught with your pants down, the enemies will take full advantage of that and you will be uh, begging for mercy. I am, I am absolutely terrified of long corridors. That seems to be the bane of my existence. I think this is, this might be a little water fountain. Let's try it. Okay, the pipe just broke. Don't know what that did. I'm not going to be picking up most stuff. In my experience, most of the equipment that you find scattered throughout the dungeon randomly is what's uh, cursed. Now, I don't know what that does, except you can't take it off. It clamps onto you like an alien facehugger, and it's I really have yet to figure out how to get it off your anything. Um, sword, shield, helmet. So, here we go, here we go, come on. Okay, now that I don't need the torch, I'm going to put that away, because as I said, that does degenerate. Um, you can take these off the wall, though. I have done that in a pinch. Um, they do, that, that does come in handy, so. See, it's worn now, whereas before it was serviceable. Absolutely terrified of long hallways. The story behind that is every time I seem to enter a long hallway, a boulder drops on my face and crushes me. So this was probably a skeleton, unless there was an NPC. I have yet to run into any NPCs in my uh, playthroughs. The adventurer who went to hell. All right. And the worker's journal entry four. Again, like just about everything that I'm aware of is randomly generated in this game. So. You can have an immensely easy time, little to no... Okay, so now I'm hungry. So now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go in and eat that, and that hit the spot. That's what food does. You get hungry, and that is always ticking. Always ticking. You are always against the clock on this. So, okay, my, my torch is flickering. swap this out either because I have. Let's see if we can drop it. Okay, we're gonna drop that. I'm gonna take this. There we go. The boulders drop. From what I've seen they drop from um, set spawn points. There would be a big hole in the ceiling and that actually happened to me once. I was wandering down a hall and I looked up and said, oh, what's that big hole up there and a boulder fell right square in my face and believe it or not crushed me so now I am extremely leery I think that might be a boulder over there okay now I am a usually one for completely exploring dungeons getting as much at getting as much experience as I can I it's the old-school uh, gamer in me I, uh, I grew up on Alright, we can go with that. We'll eat that. I'll save that for later. Um, games like Final Fantasy, old school uh, RPGs, and anybody who's played those just remembers Dragon Quest, anybody. Um, I am not even going to go near it in case like there's like a death aura about it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is just a looming pit of death in my eyes. you do level up there is a level up system in place I don't believe you have it's been a while since I have leveled up just because I typically just get murdered 
Um, I don't believe there's any control over, like, you know, any stat control. So, we're going to go back to this flashing red light, which is the next step down, and we're going to make the leap of faith. Or are we? I kind of want to see if there's anything else wandering around here. and satiate my inerrant, barbaric bloodlust. I don't know if I'll be able to. I really don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth either. Alright, we're going for it. Okay, so we're on level two, and we hear the sound of a pickaxes striking. Oh no. Oh no, that is not good. That is not good at all. I have heard awful god awful things about that what that means that means that he the, the, the dungeon master is sending his uh, his little pet and his little pet is not so little it's a like a 12 foot tall minotaur So this is new. This is this might actually be the first store that I've ran into. Let's see what he's got. Oh, jeez, it scared me. Okay, so let's let's eat my slightly aged meat. And yet, it still hit the spot. Maybe that's just a perk of being a barbarian. He doesn't care. And it looks like I'm bleeding, so I'm going to lose some blood periodically. What's this? Excellent leather breastplate. Okay, so we don't know if that's aged or not, so we're going to actually close this. That way, if anybody comes knocking, we'll know. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to take... Uh, we're going to... We're going to save the game here, we're going to cut off the episode, and uh, next time we're going to see if we can just beat this level and get down to the next. Uh, thank you for joining me, and again, it's been Matt with Beardius Gaming. Please like and subscribe below, uh, leave any comments, please let me know, I'm new to this. Let me know how I can improve, let me know, again, I'm open to suggestions, open to um, requests, I mean, and you know, we'll see where we go with it. Um, I mean, it's a great joy for me. So again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.